the last of them to come forward. We're almost set at the 1400, the Crown Perth handicap. Lights commence flashing. Racing now, Sigil from the inside is the first away. Black Beal will go straight back towards the tail. Serious prospect and now Supreme Force with Azapati putting his foot down on the accelerator, burning them off. Supreme Force quickly high-tailing to the lead. Vigoresta strode up quickly into second spot. A little wider out, though, is Reef Keeper. Serious prospect in the middle, down on the inside, Sigil. A length-burning magic. Next on the rails, Bardsy, the real zeal outside of those. A shade wide going up onto the first bend. A length away behind them to generous but further back is Mycroft, Asher Lily, then St. Stephen, followed further back to Kim Dynamite, last on the inside is Black Beal, inside the 650 they head in, Supreme Force, came back underneath Smoke and Joe, he's doing it boldly to the corner from Vigoresta, Reef Keeper, three deep, no luck at all in transit, over on the inside, running fourth, Sigil under lock and key, but travelling up well just behind them, Burning Magic about to peel to the outside, right off the track, generous but as they'd set some for the judge. Around the outside now is St. Stephen, the real zeal back inside of his heels and searching its way through the field now is Serious Prospect but Supreme Force showing the persuader at the 200 quickly races two in front Sigil gets into the clear now running on Reef Keeper St. Stephen down the outside at the 100 Supreme Force in front from Sigil St. Stephen climbing down the outside with a late run Supreme Force clings on though. Supreme Force has won from either Sigil, St. Stephen Mycroft and Eyecatcher. Right behind those then came Reef Keeper, followed by Burning Magic, Bardsey, Serious Prospect, Black Beal next home. Then came Asher Lily, the real zeal didn't flatter. Then came Kim Dynamite, Vigoresta, Generous Albert brought up the rear. Supreme Force. The shades went on as a party kicked it out of the gates quickly. And, of course, it has that King Blitz form thread right through it, Supreme Force, 550, and has won from probably St. Stephen on the outside. Sigil was there having a great run throughout. 582, three has run fourth, Mycroft, 582 and three. Supreme Force, they're not a single doubt four-year-old. Padan and Ben Pierce handled by Joe Azapati for... Warren, Mrs. J and BJ Martin and Mrs. K Hodgkinson. Second home is Eight St. Stephen by Blackfriars, trained by Pete and Matt Giedresco, W. Pike, and two Sigil third by Saxon out of Yellow Moon, Simon Miller, Patrick Carberry. A necker half ahead, great finish, 127.33 is the time on 5, 8, 2 and 3 after the running of race 7. Now, Reef Keeper stuck on really well. He was compelled to sit three deep without any cover at all in running. Uh, Burning Magic, Mike Croft were the two that were getting home best behind the place getters. But Supreme Force doing it from start to finish here in the seventh, the Crown Perth handicap. The next today, the Salinger at 520 over 1300. Six Nashville Cat is the scratching there. And at the sectional, 3622. As we take you back down now into the yard, Supreme Force returns, having posted his second victory from three runs in this campaign. So he's going great and he really did fire up with the blinkers on, Gareth. It was a good effort. Dan Pierce joins us here and blinkers go on straight to the front and that was a good attacking ride there by Joey and um, your gallop had never really looked like getting beat today. Yeah, he had to, uh, we sort of thought we had to ride him like that from the barrier um, and uh, we sort of went waiting for a good barrier and, uh, and it never came. So we, uh, so we went around today and rode him like that and, uh, and yeah, he, uh, he's got a lot of ability, this horse, and we've, uh, we've had to be patient with him. He's been a bit frustrating at times, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully we get, can get him to a point where we can reap the reward. Yeah, do you think he can go on with it now? Yeah, I think so. Look, I think he's a, he's a Saturday horse, um, definitely. And uh, if we can uh, string a few runs together with him, uh, yeah, we can uh, we can find a Saturday race. Has he been giving you all over the time a few headaches? Yeah, he has, and we just had to be patient with him. But you see, he's a big uh, he's a big bugger, and he's taken a while to grow into himself. And uh, and uh, yeah, we just had to be a bit patient. But he's a uh, he's he's a nice horse. He's bred to be a nice horse. So uh, so yeah, hopefully we can uh, get uh, get some wins out of him now. Fine, Dan. Thank you. Dan Pierce, of course, trains in partnership with his brother. And I tell you what, Brittany, that St. Stephen's flying at the moment. Yeah, it was a big run home, wasn't it? And Sigil, of course, again. Yeah, he looks. Ran the in the placings. Very consistent galloper, Sigil, and Carberry gave him a gem of variety.
he tried to kid to him a few times and he kept on coming on the, um, to the line old sigil, but um, he might win a race one day. Well, I think you've been beaten by a fair horse here in Supreme Force. I would expect that Supreme Force goes on to bigger and better things. It uh, looks like a horse that uh, will probably make that sort of Saturday grade. And from what we've seen and heard from the connections, you would expect that the horse does take the, uh, the step up, a well-bred horse. And... Uh, Blinkers going on. I think we saw a much sharper Supreme Force today, and we'll we'll hear what Joey as a party has to say in just a moment. But perhaps the key to this horse, Joey's ridden it two times for two victories, so 100% strike rate on this horse, Joey. Blinkers going on today. How much sharper did that make him? Yeah, it was a different horse day with the blinkers on, and I'll admit I nearly made a blue because I gave him a pretty good dig out from a wide barrier, and he probably just wanted to do a little bit too much in the middle part. So um, it was a lot sharper today with the blinkers on, and it was a good win. Were you expecting to find the fence from that wide gate? I knew the plan was to roll four, but usually he's pretty dopey and he needs to really be told what to do. But with the blinkers on today, it was nice and sharp and he, he travelled throughout. What sort of trip do you think is his best distance? Um, I wouldn't be in a hurry to step him up, especially with the blinkers on now. Um, so 14 to a mile. I think as he gets a bit older and mature, he might stretch out of a bit further, but um, at the moment, 14 is good. Does it give you the feel that he'll make Saturday grade with ease? Yeah, I think so. We did a bit of work then from a wide gate, so it was a pretty good win at the end of the day. So if he keeps progressing like he is, I think he'll make a Saturday horse. Nice win. Well done, Joey. Thank you. Yeah, Supreme Force wins nicely and gets the job done. Well done to Joey as a party. And well done to the Pierce brothers. That wraps up race number seven on the card here at Belmont Park. Time for a quick break. As we head to the break, we'll see Supreme Force getting the job done, leading all the way. It's great to have your company on this Wednesday afternoon. We'll be back for a look at these horses in the yard for race number eight in about 20 minutes or 25 minutes here on Sky Thoroughbred Central.